mass shooting that got zero news. But uh, Jason, no bail was the recommendation today from pretrial services and prosecutors collectively citing a criminal history that includes assault convictions as well as prior handgun convictions and a bench warrant recently issued out of Anne Arundel County for a violation of parole. Think about this. They're bragging that they're not giving this guy who killed three people over dispute. They're bragging that they're not giving him bail. And they have to cite all these reasons why he's not getting bail. We have literally gone from fucking normalcy to fucking insanity in fucking three years. I did stories like this in 2019 and the first part of 2020. If you fucking shot three people because you got mad at them because they're beating you in a card game or some shit, or they fucking said something you didn't like and you just fucking killed that person and two more people, you just didn't get a bail and it wasn't part of the story. They didn't even mention it in the story. Now they got to explain why you don't get a bail when you kill three people for, for some dumb shit. Jason, no bail was the recommendation today from pretrial services and prosecutors collectively citing a criminal history that includes assault convictions as well as prior handgun convictions and a bench warrant recently issued out of Anne Arundel County for a violation of parole. The man accused of opening fire during an argument with neighbors on Woodring Avenue three weeks ago of using a gun to settle an argument and in the process killing three people, Charles Murray, Darlene Briscoe, and Gerard Smith. <laughs> and they gotta literally say, look, he's a fucking been a fucking degenerate for the last 40 years. For the last 20 years, he's been fucking assaulting and brain and terror in the community. So, a uh, judge, can you please give him no bond? The judge is like, hmm, I'll go to my chambers. I'll be back. Let me go to my chambers and mull this over. He goes back. Then he comes back out, and everybody's shaking. Like, on pins and needles, he's like, no bond. And everybody's like, whew. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, man? Like, what's going on, man? Really? Like, it shouldn't even be a fucking... It shouldn't even be the, a part of this story. Whether he gets a bond or not. Tell us what the fuck happened. An argument and in the process, killing three people. Charles Murray, Darlene Briscoe, and Gerard Smith. And critically injuring a fourth, Brittany Murray faced a judge in Baltimore City District Court on Friday. The deadly quadruple shooting happened April 1st in this quiet Northeast Baltimore neighborhood. Look, redlining, right? Y'all, black people got this quiet Northeast Baltimore neighborhood, right? Right? Very nice, right? So, moderately manicured lawns, no trash on the street happened April 1st in this quiet Northeast Baltimore neighborhood. 48-year-old Marvell Worsley was charged the very next day, but wasn't captured, prosecutors say, till this past Wednesday. He is a danger to the public and a flight risk, the state told the judge on Friday and asked for no bail. He wasn't captured, defense attorney Jerry Tarub told the judge. He contacted me on Monday and I coordinated turning himself in on Wednesday at one o'clock. He was prompt, he was on time, and he was taken into custody. Worsley lives in his home on Woodring Avenue with his wife and eight-year-old son, and he pays the mortgage on it, the defense said, lobbying for home detention. As far as flight risk goes, that is the least of the court's concerns, the judge said. It takes a back seat to the allegations in court charging documents that Mr. Worsley escalated the argument, armed himself, and then opened fire. 
The judge said Worsley is an extreme risk of threat to the community and ordered him held without bond. That's on top of a second no bond decision by the judge in a reopened case out of Anne Arundel County. According to court proceedings today, plus online court records at the time of this deadly shooting, the defendant was on probation after pleading guilty in a DUI case out of Anne Arundel County. He was sentenced to three years of supervised probation in that case, which does not expire until early next year. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBALP. The chat is going hard on the juice, the juice crew question right now. They're, they're, they're getting to the bottom of it. They're having the tough conversations. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Um, so there's always trash laying around on these streets here, especially like near alleyways, lots of plastic, anything you could pretty much imagine. In Bolton Hill, Dan Brover is doing- My body will be laying on the street. City. And we've been doing this for a little over, almost two years now at this point. How come? Picked up. Post like 6,000 pounds of trash. And not just Why not? here, but in He's other doing cities something good. around Shoot the country. Ass. For Dan, every day is Earth Day. It's actually the name of his nonprofit. So we kind of uh, partner up with a local, um, you know, restaurant or some so sort of vendor, uh, maybe a brewery, something of that sort. We go into the community there, get a bunch of people together, maybe some other local uh, businesses. And then we kind of clean up for at least about an hour. And then you have people walking by like, what are you guys doing? We're like, we're just we're cleaning. And they're like, okay, cool. Maybe we can hop in. And Sometimes they only pick up a few bags of trash. Junk King hauls away their bigger finds. Sometimes we'll find industrial material from, you know, people building houses 50 to 100 years ago, literally like radiators, car parts you know, refrigerators, anything you could imagine. The 29 year old Baltimore realtor is volunteered in other ways like feeding the homeless and believes it's his responsibility to give back. I have the ability to do something and it's my job to do it. Never ends, never ends. And on Saturday at noon, every day is Earth Day. We'll be picking up trash in Canton. So if you would like to volunteer. Every single bag is one less bag on the streets. Jen Franciotti, WBAL TV 11 News. <laughs> We heard the gunshots, but we're like, oh, no, it really wasn't gunshots. It couldn't be. But they were gunshots in Betty Thornton's quiet northeast Baltimore neighborhood. Police are now arresting 48-year-old Marvell Worsley. He's accused of shooting four people, including his next-door neighbor, Brittany Murray. Charging documents reveal she and Worsley got into an argument earlier in the day about parking and loud music. She, Yeah, so that's what it was over. That's what I was trying to figure out. I know it was over something minor. Parking and loud music. Yeah, man. That could end in, that could end in death, man. Parking spot with some sons. That shit, that shit could end in death with gliders, couldn't it, um, Fisherman? Say again. Couldn't um a parking spot um, end in death of uh, um situation over a parking spot? No. Well, I mean, in gliders, gliders don't you know, they take that shit seriously though. They, they're parking spot, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, they're not gonna kill you over it though. <laughs> so no. I know on Greedos. Product of Cook County, you on burritos to kill over a parking spot. I know that. I guess. Well, we uh, don't play that shit. Don't park in front of my house, right? I would be a little concerned if some random ass person was parking up in front of my house. I don't know about that. You know, I'm talking about somebody on your block. 
like your neighbor. They got their apartment space. You got your apartment space. And oh. Nah, yeah, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, what the fuck's going on, bro? I don't know if I'm going to shoot someone over it, though. I'd be pretty mad, though. Mm. Next door neighbor, Brittany Murray. Charging documents reveal she and Worsley got into an argument earlier in the day about parking and loud music. She called her dad, Charles Murray, Grandma Darlene Briscoe, and friend Gerard Smith to come over and help. Oh, shit. She called me. Oh, my God. She called her dad and her grandmother and her friend. So she's the only one who lives there. And she got into the argument with that guy. And she said, pull up, everybody. Think about what she's going through right now. If she was if she was human, if she wasn't a sun person. You called your grandmother, your dad, and a family friend over to help you with a squabble instead of calling the police. About a um parking space. The guy kills your dad, your grandmother, and your friend, and you survive. If she was human, she would kill herself. She would be on suicide watch, right? Yeah, I hit one. If if she was human, she would be on suicide watch. But she can twerk the pain away. <laughs> I mean, uh, have you ever twerked for a couple minutes? It does wonders for your psyche. Oh, really? No, I've never twerked. I haven't twerked for a couple seconds. <laughs> if she was human, <laughs> if she was human. If she was human, she would literally, literally kill herself. You called your father, your grandmother, and your friend over here because a dude was talking shit about a goddamn parking space. That guy killed your father, grandmother, and your friend, and you survived. How do you wake up the next day after that? Just like, <laughs> I mean, like, if you can go to sleep. Like, these people were home. These people were in the house. You called them over there. You know, I told you some people, they can always call somebody to come. But not your grandmother and your father. Maybe the friend. You could have called him. If he came over, he definitely ain't getting no pussy. He ain't sniffed the pussy. Type of dude that'll come over and do on some shit like that, he ain't never sniffed the pussy. Nigga, she fucking was like, man, I'm tired, man. Tell that nigga, man. Tell that nigga, man. Oh, nigga, you, man. Oh, some shit, man. I'm tired, man. Oh, I, I'll call you tomorrow, man. Damn. A day about parking and loud music. She called her dad, Charles Murray, Grandma Darlene Briscoe, and friend Gerard Smith to come over and help. She was definitely a daddy's girl. Um, Charles had... Um, four daughters, including Brittany. So it's kind of like, hey, if you have a problem, you know, and you're arguing with a man, you know, don't argue with him. Call me and, you know, I'm your dad. I'll protect you. Those documents state Charles Murray and Gerard Smith started arguing with Worsley, who pulled out a gun and started shooting. Both were killed. Darlene Briscoe heard the gunshots and came outside where Worsley shot and killed her. Court documents say Brittany was shot multiple times and was taken to the hospital in critical. So that guy, that guy, got an argument with this guy and this guy. Shot and killed them. 
This woman came out the house when she heard the gunshots. He guns her down. And we got to have a fucking town hall meeting to decide whether this guy gets a bomb. <laughs> we got to have it all about, well, you know, well, I mean, he does have, he was on probation. He does have open DUI. Uh, I don't know. Nah, not looking good. Uh, any other thing? Well, he has multiple assault charges. And <sighs> well, let me mull this over. <sighs> Someone in the chat said Gerard died in the friend zone. That shit's hilarious. <laughs> exactly, man. Like, come on, man. This is insane, man. Those documents state Charles Murray and Gerard Smith started arguing with Worsley, who pulled out a gun and started shooting. Both were killed. Darlene Briscoe heard the gunshots and came outside where Worsley shot and killed her. Court documents say Brittany was shot multiple times and was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Her cousin spoke to 11 News, and while she did not want to be identified, she does tell us Brittany has improved and is stable. She's stable? Yeah, right. That woman... Listen, two things. She going to end up dating a shooter? <laughs> the guy who did this ran off into the night. <laughs> I could see if he did this shit and then waited for the cops and was like, look, here's what happened. Da, 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 da. He did this, ran off into the night, got captured, and then they're still like, well, you know, we'll, Let's see. Uh, let's him and Hall about whether he's going to get a bond. <laughs> then, of course, she's not stable. If she's human, she's fucking. She'll never get over this. If she's human, if she's a human being, which I, for one, probably am not. I mean, I might not be a human being, but most sons are different. That's why I say if she was human. We're different. We're a different species, man. Only thing, thing about us is that we can fuck y'all and have babies and shit with y'all. Everything else about us is fucking different. This woman, I just don't know how you do that. You... <laughs> he was shot multiple times and was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Her cousin spoke to 11 News, and while she did not want to be identified, she does tell us Brittany has improved and is stable. We were all devastated. The last people that you would expect would be them. My cousin Chucky, the same thing, loved his grandchildren, always with either his daughters, his grandchildren, his mom, or his dad. Um, very family-oriented, so it was a shock, like a heart-wrenching shock. I think he needs to pay the price for taking the lives of three people and critically injuring a fourth. The family is praying for justice too. No other family should have to go through this. The family has started a GoFundMe page for the victims. You can find a link on our website, WBALTV.com. They probably got 1,500 bucks in their tops. If they got more than 1,500 bucks, if they got more than 1500 bucks, I'm going to be shocked, man. I would be, listen, I ain't even going to lie. I would be for Lord if they had more than 1500 bucks in their fucking um, GoFundMe. The chat's still trying to figure out who the, the J crew is. Uh, it's a good discussion. They're still trying to figure out. So what, do, what do you mean, who's J. Crew? What do you mean by that? They're trying to figure out the rules for if you're a J or not. Oh. If you're a J or not. Well, if right. you. Is a J just a glider? Is a J not a glider? Can you be a Can you be a glider and still live in Israel? I was wrong, man, about this GoFundMe, man. I said 1500 man. They got they got bands? Yeah, they got. 2220, god damn. Yeah, 
I thought I thought they was only gonna have fifteen. We got a lot of noise product, man. Oh yeah, hold on, let me mute myself. They got they got twenty two, so that's pretty good, man. I mean, I t listen, man. That's 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 good for the, the um, a GoFundMe, man. I mean, the fuck do you like? I mean, <laughs> you got shot by a black person, man. Like, that's very good, man. That's pretty good, man. That ain't bad, but I I, I was thinking fifteen hundred. So they did. They doing this. They got seven hundred more. Yeah, man. That's not. That's pretty good, man. We getting shot by a black person. I mean, getting killed for three of y'all getting killed by black person. My bad. You going? You going to make a donation right quick? Five dollars. Nah, man. Don't, they ain't get shot by a white person. I don't care. I'm black. I don't, we don't care if you ain't get, unless you get shot by a black person. I mean, by a white person. I'm still. I told you on what's up, man. man. Yeah, man. That's, shit, Baltimore.